So I'm taking my coffee this morning, evaluating what's going on with the market. Let's have a look at Bitcoin chart. So this is the weekly chart. I have my previous accumulation periods for Bitcoin. We've had the run up, bullish momentum, but now we're on a consolidation phase. And the circle reflects what has happened in the last few weeks. So we have a black swan event right now with the Middle East tensions and back and forth between a few countries that brings instability worldwide concern. Obviously, nobody wants that type of news anywhere for any country. We hope that this gets toned down, resolved somehow very quickly, but somehow it affects markets. It affects everything, stock markets, countries, crypto, in a negative way because it's unpredicted, it's concerning, and it brings instability. That's why the market, the different markets react like that. When you're living an event like that, then you have to ask yourselves, what has changed in the assets that I'm invested in? Most of the time, the answer is pretty much nothing. Unless you have invested in uh, military related stocks that less and less people invest in these days, while well, these events have a specific and direct link to your assets. But the majority of investors will see the assets that they invest in go down a little bit, some a little more because of this instability. So when you're analyzing your assets, all of them that you have has anything critical within the asset, within your company that you invest if you have stocks, has something changed? And most of the time the answer is no. Nothing has changed. Therefore, this event is out of your control, out of all investors' control, and it should not change the way you invest. You shouldn't panic either because everything is affected pretty much the same way. It's extremely unpredictable to discern when it's going to end. Is it going to get worse, better, quickly, fast? Is it going to take weeks, months, years? You do not know anything about that and it's out of your control. Therefore, reactions within these black swan event periods are very tricky to make. So usually my stance on this, and it happened with the health events that everybody knows, I didn't do anything because it was out of our control and it was very difficult to predict. So that's my stance on this. So has Bitcoin changed? Something happened to Bitcoin. Is anything different? at the core of Bitcoin and crypto? No. Therefore, you need to stay calm and wait for the storm to pass. That's usually the best option. It's not an easy one. It could be a painful one. It could be a short live. It could be long. You do not have control over that. So let's have a look at what has happened recently and see what we should expect short term for Bitcoin. So this is a zoom in on the top part of the Bitcoin chart. We have gone a few days above 72,000, but we got rejected. And then we seem to have a pretty solid support at $62,000 that we have touched multiple times and it has held so far. So I, as I just mentioned, we don't have a control of what's going on in the Middle East. So it's up to you to decide what to do. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing, obviously, I'm not selling anything because it's something out of my control. We are near the 62,000 support, therefore a buying opportunity. But could it go lower than that? Yes, it could go lower than that. The next clear support is at $52,000. Are we going to get there? Maybe. If I buy now at 63,000, would I buy at 52,000 or 52,500? Of course I would. Again, if nothing has changed about Bitcoin. But in a few days, something will change about Bitcoin. And what is that? Well, we have the halving coming in. And the issuance of coins will change from 900 coins minted per day to 450 coins minted per day. The demand for Bitcoin has slowed a little bit, has gone down a little bit. But we have many people accumulating Bitcoin. The issuance will go down, the, the scarcity will go up. It's going to get more and more difficult to get your hands on Satoshis 
on Bitcoin on centralized exchanges. So it's very positive for Bitcoin on the short term. The good thing is that everything is pre-programmed for Bitcoin. Nothing will impede the having on happening. It will just happen as it was pre-programmed. The fundamentals have not changed. We have ETFs continue to buying. Yesterday, Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs were approved in Hong Kong, which opens up another market for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Companies continue to buy Bitcoin. High worth individuals continue to buy Bitcoin. People like you and me are continuing to buy Bitcoin. The demand is always bigger than the supply. Therefore, the price over a long period of time will always go up for Bitcoin. The asset is very young right now and we may have a few small windows where the demand will drop, but it's going to be temporary. So even in dark times like black swan events, you need to look at your asset, analyze them, see what has changed and what has not changed and evaluate if it's a buying opportunity or a selling opportunity. When everybody is fearful, usually it's a good time to buy. When everybody's happy and euphoric, it's usually a good time to sell. But we are in a situation with Bitcoin, and I have actually changed my stance on this, that we never had an asset with a very solid cap supply that cannot be modified. We cannot have more coins than what is permitted and pre-programmed as the way as Satoshi designed Bitcoin. Therefore, every time I buy some Bitcoin, because I've decided that everything that I buy, I will not sell. Every time I buy X amount of Satoshis, they will not be available for a long time, a few years. I'm not saying that I'm never going to sell, but it's not gonna be something short-lived. There could be a possibility that I would never sell the asset. Why? Because it's going to be extremely difficult to find another asset once you sell Bitcoin. The purpose is when you sell something, you want to put whatever profits you made into something better. If that something is not better than Bitcoin, why would you sell? That's the situation I am in right now. In my thinking, in my analysis of Bitcoin, at this stage, Yes, I can invest in other things. I am invested in other things. But when I look at Bitcoin, I do not have another option if I take profits out of it. And I think it, it, it is a rare asset and therefore giving it away or selling it is not a good option in my opinion. But that's my own analysis. You could have a completely different thing. Will it have periods where it was a good idea to sell and buy at a lower price? Sure. That will happen in the future. It has happened every four years since its creation, but I do not want to risk it. I rather sell other assets and in periods where everybody's fearful about Bitcoin, sell other assets and buy a little more Bitcoin at a great price and wait. That's the only thing that I'm going to do, wait. Even waiting is excruciating and extremely difficult for many people. It seems simple, but many people cannot help themselves of trading or selling, buying and things like that. And waiting is something that they never do. You have to be patient. The very successful investors wait for the impatient people to sell their assets at a very cheap price and are patient enough to buy it at that price from those impatient people. Amazing returns happen when the patient investors grab very special assets from the impatient traders and investors. So keep that in mind. Nothing has changed about Bitcoin. We are in an unstable period, yes, but we have to weather the storm. Could Bitcoin go lower? It could, but it's going to be temporary in my opinion. Why? Because the characteristics of Bitcoin have not changed. Actually, in a few days, they're going to get better than today, simply. And that, and that makes Bitcoin extremely special. And the influence of Bitcoin will continue on other crypto assets and the stock market eventually, attracting more eyes on the asset, more money on the asset, because it is 
a very special asset. I've done my research. I know what I'm doing. I'm not indicating to buy or sell, but the recipe of when people are fearful, it's usually a good time to buy and use those fearful periods to really assess all your assets and see if the portfolio of items that you have in your portfolio are truly special and deserve to be there and therefore there's no reason to get rid of any of them. So I hope you learn a little bit of what's going on or how I'm thinking about investing. This is extremely important that you go over this thinking by yourself with the information that you have. This will build your confidence as an investor and it's going to guide you on the actions that you need to take because future black swans are going to happen. How are you going to react to them? It's totally depending on your psyche, your knowledge, your experience, but always stay calm, think about it, digest what's going on, and base your decisions in a calm manner. Never panic. It's usually always a bad, a bad idea to base decision on panicking. So that's it. This video is long enough. This is my view on what's going on right now. Stay calm, be patient, and let's see you all on the next one.